This is part four of our video on adding and subtracting vectors. We had to stop the previous question because I was just about to hit the maximum time limit that I can post on YouTube. So we were in the middle of calculating um, our angle while we were using cosine law to solve for our addition question. So I'm going to calculate the numerator here and then the denominator. So 11.67 squared plus 5.2 squared minus 7.2 squared is 111.3889. And in the denominator, 2 times 5.2 times 11.67 is 121.368. I could calculate, do the division, and then do the inverse cosine, because I am going to have to do the inverse cosine here. Or I could do the inverse cosine and just leave that as a fraction, which I think I would prefer to do. So on my calculator, I have to do the bracket first. So 11 point, nope. 111.3889 divided by 121.368, close my bracket, and then do my inverse cosine, and I get approximately 23.396, so that would round to 40 degrees. Okay, so we had already calculated in the first part that the magnitude was 11.67 centimeters. We now know that this angle that it makes with angle with vector A is 23.40 degrees. So I'm going to finish off by saying that A plus B is 11.67 centimeters and that the direction is 23.40 degrees with vector A. So we always measure it where it's tail to tail with another vector, so that's why we did vector A. I didn't choose vector B because it's not inside the triangle and it would have been hard to solve for. So compared to the previous method, our previous method where we added and where we added by drawing, um, I didn't have to do a lot of calculation. I just had to be really, really careful when I drew it. So this is not super accurate because if I measure it incorrectly, I'm not going to get the right answer, but I didn't have to do a ton of work. This was a lot of work, but I feel confident, assuming I put the numbers in the right places, I feel confident that I have a more accurate answer. And if I do compare, here I had 11.7, here I got 11.67, here I had 24 degrees, here I knew that it was 23.4 degrees. So this is a slightly more accurate answer, it just involves a whole lot more work. Okay, so rather than start and have to stop halfway through, I think we're going to do the last method, which is components, in the next video.